What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Paparazzi and I have a new Photoshop tutorial for you. I'm going to teach you how to get rid of unwanted items in your photos. Just stick around and you won't be disappointed. Alright, so what am I talking about when I say get rid of unwanted eyesores? Let's say for example, you're taking a picture of a beautiful model and you have a beautiful background and everything is just fitting right, the colors, the contrast, the contours, everything is just fitting just the way it's supposed to, but you look real close and you see a little fire hydrant in the background. And now you can't get rid of it by covering it up with your model because then everything is just thrown off. So what you're gonna do is you take that picture anyway, bring that picture back to your house, pull it up on Photoshop, and I'll show you how to get rid of it. Let's get started. So I have here a picture of a chessboard that I took a while back. And in the background, you'll notice there's an electrical outlet. Now, I knew the outlet was there when I took the picture, but this was just the best composition that I could find for this shot. And I didn't really care about the little outlet because I knew I can get rid of it in post. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. All right, for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and go back to where it all starts. You're gonna have one layer on your taskbar right here. And you're gonna want another layer like I just had. So you're gonna hit Control J. And that brings up another layer. You can also go up to layer and then you can go down to duplicate layer. And you can just name it whatever you want. We're gonna just hit Control J because that's a shortcut. Now that we have our duplicate layer, let's go ahead and bring up the clone stamp tool, which is right here. You're gonna click and hold it to bring up the menu and you're gonna click clone stamp tool, obviously. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit Alt, hold Alt and click on an area so that you can sample that area. Now I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Now let's say for example, I click and hold Alt here. Now I'm sampling this knight and if I want, I can draw this knight right here. So I just made a clone of this knight. That easy, right? Let's go ahead and start getting rid of this outlet. Now what I want to do is click and hold Alt, sample the wall beside the outlet, and then just draw the outlet away. Now if you continue too far and you get the outlet again, just release the left mouse button and press it down again and you can get rid of it. Now I know what you're thinking, you can see the different shades of gray. So what we're going to do to fix that is go over to your spot healing brush or your healing brush, you click on this and hold it and go down to the second one, Healing Brush Tool. Make sure this is in Normal and not Replace because if you do Replace, it's gonna do the exact colors. If you choose Normal, then Photoshop is gonna intelligently decide what the pixels look like based on an average of the pixels around it. So let's go ahead and click and hold Alt and sample the wall beside it again. And then we're gonna draw over this gray. Now if you go too far again, like I said, you can just press Control Z to go back and do it again. Just click and sample that gray. Now, if you feel like you're going too far down, you can just release the click and press it again and go over it again. And just keep going over it until you get the gray right. See? Now, if you didn't see it for yourself, you would have never known it was there. That's one way to get rid of it. Now, like I said, we have a duplicate layer, so we're going to go ahead and delete that layer. And we're going to do this again using another technique. This time, we're only going to use the healing brush. For starters, we're going to go ahead and make a duplicate layer again. And then we're going to make sure that this is a normal. And then we're going to sample the wall beside it and trace over it, just like that. Again, if you get the outlet in it again, all you have to do is release the click and press it down again. Every time you press it down, it's going to sample the original spot that you clicked. So that's why the plus is never moving. It's always in that same spot. It only moves when you click and drag, just like that. See how easy that was? Now, delete the layer once more. I'm gonna show you yet another way to get rid of unwanted items. So now we just hit Control J to make a duplicate layer again. This time we're going to click and hold on this icon and we're going to go to Spot Healing Brush. Now this time it's going to be way easier. Now if you hit your bracket keys, you can enlarge or decrease 
the size of your cursor we're going to go ahead and make it small you want the cursor to be as small as possible while still being really effective you don't want it to be this small because then you'll be trying to draw this and it's just real tedious so what you're going to do is you're going to make it a little bit bigger right about here now if it's too big if it's too big of course photoshop might sample too much and then you start to get these artifacts that you, you just don't want so we're going to do about this size and a little bit smaller so all you do is trace over the one unwanted object and let go just like that simple right and there you have it you got rid of that item now this is a really simple demonstration there are times when things can be a little bit more complicated when items such as this are touching another item and the contrast is really low for example you can't really tell where one item begins and one item ends so photoshop's gonna have a hard time determining what the pixels should look like right here it may be a little easier because the contrast is a lot more distinct but that's just the basics. If you want me to go into how to get rid of even more difficult items, just leave a comment down below and I'll make a video for it. So in the picture that I actually finished, this was taken out as well. And the reflection was also changed to match the design because this was just unnecessary to be in there. All right, so now that you know how to get rid of items, I'm gonna tell you just a little bit more advanced like i said before of how to get rid of items that are touching other items and maybe the contrast is a little different so what we have here is a picture of a car first thing we're going to want to do again Control j to make a duplicate layer hit edit transform and rotate now i'm doing this because i just don't like it when the pictures are cricket so what i'm going to do is simply turn it just like that now, if you want to know if your picture is actually straight or not, you can go up to a straight line, which is the top or bottom of your image, and just line it up with that. Looks good. Now, you'll notice that below here is another picture of the car. That's because we have this layer here. We'll go ahead and get rid of that layer. Now that we have the picture straight, we're going to go ahead and go back to Edit, Free Transform, and then we're going to just click and drag this. Now, if your Photoshop is set up different, you may experience uh, a little warping when you do like this. Now, if it transforms like this, that means you just need to hold shift. Hold shift down, and then it'll transform proportionately. Now, once you've done that, once you get it where you want it, see, I wanna get rid of all this white. Boom, just like that. Looks good. So we just go ahead and hit your check. And we're gonna do another layer, Control J. The reason why I'm doing this other layer is because if I don't do this layer and I go to see what it used to look like, it's gonna be cricket again, which is fine, but I just wanna see exactly what the differences are when I change it. So as you can see, I'm getting rid of this, I'm making this layer invisible, but it still looks the same. So let's go ahead and work on this top layer. Using the tricks that I taught you before, we're going to get rid of this grass. Now, I'll do my best to explain to you what I'm doing as I do it. For starters, if you have a mouse like this, it really helps out a lot. It has a scroll wheel on it. Now, you're going to need that scroll wheel to have a really good workflow. And this is why. If I hold Alt and then I scroll up and down, I can enlarge and shrink this picture just like that. I can even press space, left click, and then drag the picture around if it's enlarged, just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt, zoom in, and then press space bar and hold it, and then we're going to move to where the grass is, and then we're going to enlarge it again if we need to. This is all based on preference. And then we're going to go over here and then click and hold on the spot healing brush, then we're going to choose that using the bracket keys we're going to shrink our cursor and then we're going to highlight or trace the grass 
Like I said, you want the cursor to be as small as possible so that you can pretty much only hit the part that you want to get rid of. You don't want to really go over the area to where you're accidentally erasing part of the car. Photoshop is pretty smart, but at times it can try to overcompensate and erase a little more than it should. And that's what's going to happen here. It's, it's almost unavoidable because I've done this before and I know it will try to erase a little too much. But I will show you what to do if that happens. And let go. Now, like I said, Photoshop has a hard time determining what to erase sometimes, especially on the edge of a picture. So we're going to fix that in a minute. But first, what we want to do is get rid of all these little artifacts that it created because it thought it was supposed to. All you got to do is go over it with your spot healing brush and click it. That's it. Simple. Click each little spot. And if you zoom in too much, you're going to get this grid. Now you can take the grid off. I'll show you that in another video. But right now, we're going to just go ahead and go all the way to the grid. Back off once. Oh. Uh, and then just delete all the pieces that you see. What I'm doing right now is I'm fixing the back of the car because it seems to have deleted some of this line right here. So what you can do is just click and drag across the negative space of where that line was at. And it will try its best to draw that line back in. And if it doesn't do a good job, you can always just click and hold on this clone stamp tool. Just choose clone stamp tool or just click it if it was the last one that you had. Shrink this down. Alt. Sample from this. We want to sample from probably back here. And then drag this across. Just like that. And then going back to your spot healing brush. You want to get rid of this. There you have it, cars back to the way it was. Back to factory setting. Now, like I mentioned, Photoshop has a hard time doing a spot heal on the edge of a picture, so you're gonna to want to do healing brush. I said you wanted to have it on normal before, but now we're gonna to want to do it on replace, and this is exactly why you wanted to have it on replace. What you're gonna to wanna to do is drag your picture over to where you like it. Hold Alt and go to an area that you want this to look like. So I want it to look like this, dark. And you just click, boom, just like that. Now, let me show you what happens if you keep it in normal. Now, if I were to sample this dark black spot right here and try to make this look like that, you're gonna get a blur, kind of a, a blurry green. Now, you can't really notice it, but if you're really tedious like I am, you can still see that green. And I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that with replace. Again, I'll show you. If I go to normal, I'll leave a blur. You don't want that. So you're going to want to go to replace. Click on the spot that you want to replace it with and replace it. Now you see that? I didn't change it, so it was a little too dark. So if I hit Control Z, I can go back, click above it, and then just come down with it. And you can probably notice the difference right here and right here, but we'll fix that in a second. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. Now we're gonna go to Normal, click on an area near it, and then we're gonna blend it in with Normal. And if you need to fix it again, just keep going back. There you have it. The grass is gone. Then we just do the same thing with the rest of the grass. Go back to your spot healing brush. Make the cursor as small as you can. Trace over the area. Now I could make this cursor a little bit bigger and still get the same effect, but 
I like to make it a little bit smaller. So like I said, if you have a pin in the pad, you can use that as well. I'll show you, I have one right here. I don't use it very often. So this pad is really good for doing edits on Photoshop. Uh, I used to use it a lot, but then I just got better at using the mouse. So I use the mouse more often, plus it's a lot simpler for me. Now, if you're better with the pen and pad, I highly suggest you use that. And it's also pressure sensitive so that you can get that cursor bigger or smaller based on how much pressure you put down. So that's really good to have. Uh, definitely check that out. They have them on Amazon. I got mine in Hawaii when I went to visit there. But let's continue on with this. I'm using the mouse to use my cursor instead of a pen and pad. So it's a little bit more tedious, but I can handle it. I'm just gonna make sure you get all the imperfections right there. Now we're gonna make this just a little bit bigger so I can go a little bit faster. Now the bottom part is not gonna work because of course it's on the edge of the picture and Photoshop uses all the pixels around it to determine what the picture should look like. And there are no pixels below it. So of course it can't use that as a reference. Therefore, it has a hard time getting rid of it. So the top and the bottom of this is not going to work right. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Hold space, move around if you need to. Now this bumper right here is a little messed up because it wasn't too much for the computer to determine for the pixels. So we're just gonna go ahead and take our clone stamp tool yet again, sample above, just like this, and draw in these pixels. So you can't even tell the color is messed up. Now we're going to continue on with the spot healing brush to continue to get rid of this weave. And then of course what are we going to use? The healing brush. Use the healing brush and we're going to do replace, go next to it, get rid of it, next to it, get rid of it, next to it, get rid of it, just like that. Same thing with this. There you have it, the grass is gone. Now, if you wanna see what it looked like before, just make this top layer invisible and you have your grass back. And also your car right here, the bumper was messed up because the grass was gone. Now I could have curved this a little bit more, but that's just something that you will learn as you continue to look back and forth. You see how things should have looked but I'm not too worried about it for this tutorial. This is just basics. And as you can see, grass is gone. All right, so there you have it. That's how you get rid of unwanted items. There are so many different ways to get rid of unwanted items. That was just a super basic way to do it. If you wanna know different ways, if this is not working for you and you just can't get rid of that fire hydrant in the background, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll help you as best I can but for now. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe. And also, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, these are available. Send me a comment or a private message, whatever, and I'll tell you how you can get hold of one of these shirts right here. They're only $25 and I ship to the US for free. If you're in Japan, I ship to you as well. That's where I'm at right now in Japan. And I also deliver if you're in a local area. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.